Good morning, everyone. This is your weather hazard briefing for Tuesday, the 1st of October. Our key points for the next week or so, temperatures will run on the warmer side of normal into next week. Temperatures will warm back into the 70s for today, um, but trend warmer as the week progresses, uh, reaching into the 80s for many locations. Otherwise, dry conditions will persist into next week and likely even beyond that. We'll take a look at our outlooks um, here near the end. But um, in addition to those dry conditions, breezy winds on Wednesday as a system uh, shifts eastward to our north will mean near critical to critical fire conditions for some of our locations. Current look at satellite imagery shows just very few high level clouds, but generally clear skies for most of us and that trend will continue. Our weather risk outlook for the next several days, we do have frost advisories out for the Snake Plain and Magic Valley. Otherwise, like I mentioned, just those breezy conditions for the Snake Plain and Magic Valley, especially on Wednesday as a dry cold front moves through and that trough uh, shifts eastward to our north. And again, a similar situation on Friday, but uh, strongest winds will be a little bit further north. Um, so this weak high pressure is going to keep these passing systems north of our area, but we will see uh, some winds from it, just no precip. Dry conditions will persist. So highs for today, many locations will reach into the 70s again, um, but we're already going to be climbing uh, slightly above normal. And temperatures for tomorrow, uh, a little bit warmer um, for our overnight lows, uh, a little bit more widespread 40s, but for our um, over or during our daytime for our daytime highs, excuse me, um, trending warmer, uh, closer to 80 for a lot of our locations, but still widespread 70s. And winds for today, much lighter than we have seen. We will have some afternoon gusts to around 20 miles per hour. Um, but more so those winds trend higher for tomorrow with that system passing um, up along the Canadian border, U.S.-Canadian border, um, and the Arco Desert Mud Lake area, as well as the Snake Plain. We'll see the strongest gust uh, right now looking at up to around 35 miles per hour with more widespread like 20 to 30 miles per hour or so for the magnitudes. And this is the maximum gust. Um, should also mention that for sustained winds, if you are going to be out on American Falls Reservoir, you could see some choppy conditions. Um, magnitudes aren't going to be strong enough to issue a lake wind advisory. They're going to be very low end and um, the time frame won't be, it'll be pretty limited, but um, it will be slightly breezy with those southwest winds. So do keep that in mind. And as far as our outlooks go, uh, so same that was shown yesterday, but for precipitation for the 6 to 10, as well as the 8 to 14 day outlooks, uh, less than normal favored. And for our temperature outlooks for the 6 to 10 and 8 to 14, above normal favored. So those warm and dry conditions are going to be around into, until uh, around mid-October, it's looking like. All right. So sorry about that, not sure what happened here, um, but just to go over our main points again, temperatures will run on the warmer side of normal into next week and those dry conditions combined with some breezy winds um, with some passing systems to our north will create near critical uh, fire conditions at times for some of our locations. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for listening and we hope you have a wonderful first day of October.